Hello all, I'm back. <coughs> Let us continue from where we left. Okay. We have typed some code and there were errors. Okay. Now let us make some changes here. Public selenium it says selenium cannot be resolved to a type. This is where I create my object. This is where I create my object. There is a typo mistake. Okay, It should be a capital letter public selenium and this is the object I name selenium. Okay, Once this is fixed most of the errors have been fixed. Now there is only one thing with default selenium and let us make the same change there also. Capital letter. Default selenium. Okay. Now my script is devoid of errors. I don't have any errors. Okay. Let me make a configuration change with respect to Eclipse. Let us see if I can put line numbers to my code. Okay. because line numbers will help us in more things editors Next editors show line numbers okay I'm displaying the line numbers good now it looks good so I'll be able to refer all my lines by saying 12th line or 13th line. Fine. We import the libraries from the exported IDE script. Okay, We have a class declaration already in place and we say that this bookstore class which we have just created is extending the super class Selenis test base okay, which is already there. Bookstore may depend on this class for execution of some methods or importing some methods. Okay, Now the next line, ninth line, I am declaring the object which I will use throughout this program. Okay, In ninth line I will say creating or let me say declaring my declaring the object selenium which will be used throughout the program. Okay. Next thing, at before method. At before method. Now let us see what an annotation is. An annotation is something like uh, it is specific to test ng. An annotation is very specific to test ng. This will let the testing framework know what kind of method is this? Okay, if I say at before method, this method which is following the annotation will get executed only once before all the methods. You will see this, I mean first get this theoretical part, we will see this in action in a few moments before the end of this class. At before method executes, I mean at before method annotation executes the following method before all the other methods which we have declared as test. Okay, And then the at test annotation is where I declare my tests. I declare and write my tests. This is a test, a test case. So at before method may contain a prerequisite or a setup okay, which will be required by my test cases. I am using this at before method. Okay, Whenever I declare this annotation with respect to test ng, it will always get executed before my tests are going to run. Okay, Test cases, test cases as this is selected right now are always declared with a test annotation. Okay, If this annotation is declared 
test ng will know that the following is a test case and it is a test. Now, the add before method is used for setting up the Selenium server. Okay, the at before method is used for setting up the Selenium server and making necessary configurations. Okay, I am saying I am using the object which we have declared in ninth line. Okay, uh, let me write some comments also. Uh, executed before all the tests. Twelfth line. This is where I am declaring the method public void setup. The method name is setup, throws exception and I am using the objects. I am using the object which I created in ninth line. Selenium is equal to new default selenium. For this particular function I am passing parameters. Okay, The first parameter is saying that the Selenium standalone server is running on my local host. Follow me carefully. The default Selenium takes parameters and I am passing parameters like the Selenium server standalone is running on my local host and it is being executed on port number 4444 and the browser which it needs to use is Firefox and the website which needs to be tested is this one. Okay, if you can remember the Selenium server standalone command prompt execution, this will be easy for you because we passed similar number of parameters to that function also. But there is uh, two more additions here. One is localhost and the other one is port number. Okay, because this works um, apart from Selenium server, test ng needs to make contact with my RC server. That is why I am passing these parameters. So once I say where exactly the server runs, what is the browser it needs to run, uh, it needs to open and what is the URL which needs to be tested. The 14th line starts the Selenium server. Okay, 14th line starts the server or I'll say invokes the Selenium server and then I am setting the window size as maximize which means Firefox window size as maximize and then the test method comes. Once the before method is complete all the prerequisites are in place the test method comes. A test annotation happens right here. So inside this test advanced search Okay, that is the name which is given automatically by Selenium IDE. Okay, if you see this exported test case, if you see this exported test case, the function name, the method name is already given by IDE, test advanced search. Okay, now I am coming back to my Java Eclipse. So, all the commands are written in Java format selenium.open this particular page as I have provided my whole URL here. Okay, The rest of the pages whatever I need to pass as pages will be passed right here slash store slash default.php okay? and then click on link is equal to search. Okay, All these commands which you see here selenium dot okay, open click wait for page load, select, type, all these commands you would have seen in IDE itself. See the similarity of these two things. Okay, We are trying to access the Selenium commands using Java, Java coding. Okay? So once everything is in place and I am naming every item, click link is equal to search and then wait for page load. Okay, and then select name is equal to category ID, label is programming. Okay, so all these lines are written and the add test method is made. Okay, now the test will get executed once before method is completed. Okay, this is where I 
write my tests and then I need to write how to bring the server down I cannot uh, I have initiated so many things right here uh, let me say only one thing selenium so I should stop it I should stop it when this program is complete because that is how an original program has to be written uh, at after method okay so I'll say something like public void tear down I'll say selenium dot so the object is being referenced right here selenium dot stop okay with respect to what I type the command which I need to use is being shortlisted in my tooltip or let me say uh, intelligence this is what we call as intelligence right intelligence is something like which the ID understands and it gives us tips so selenium has been created started in setup method the test is being